This box from PSA contains all of my hits from my massive 20 box shiny treasure EX opening. I wish the box was bigger, but it was probably one of the worst openings of all time. We opened 20 booster boxes and didn't get a single SAR card. This is also the first time in years that I've gotten a PSA return back and I don't know the grades of the cards inside. So let's crack the box open and see what grades they got. I think there's like 21 cards or 24 cards or something like that. There's not a whole ton of cards in the... <gasps> No! Oh no, whenever you see that frosted plastic, you know one of the cards got cracked. They have all this bubble wrap here, which is nice. I mean, it secures the cards on this side, but when you have that much room on that side, why don't you like center these in the middle and put bubble wrap on either side so that, let me check the corner. Yeah, you can see here, this whole corner's crushed in. So that corner got crushed in and it crushed, at least it chipped one card. I really hope that's not a big card. All right, let's start at the top, work our way through. Again, I don't know the grades on this. I'm hoping for a lot of 10s. So we first have a Mew EX SSR. Love this thing. Nice, shiny Mew EX card. I think we pulled two or three of these. I'm almost positive I sent them all for grading. So we have this beautiful shiny Mew. What did it get? A 10. All right, let's go. I will take it. Next card. Another one. All right, another shiny Mew EX SSR. I love the spiral texture that starts in the middle and goes all the way out. Yeah, that looks just so good. Another shiny Mew EX. What did it get? Another 10. All right, let's go. So we've got a Gardevoir. Gardevoir Full Art Shiny EX SSR. What did it get? Another 10. Okay. The 10 stack is growing. Now we've got an Alakazam. Alakazam EX Shiny. This also does have the shiny uh, spiral texture in the back. So does this one. So all of the full art shinies have that spiral texture. Very, very cool. And this one's Alakazam, a 10. All right. We love it, we love it, we love it. Ooh! Okay, so this is something to look forward to, hopefully in the English set, as long as they decide that they are going to include these. We have the etched gold foil ultra rares this is a miraidon ex we pulled two of these we pulled the miraidon and the Ch not chen pao one of those uh legendary or mythicals or whatever they're called this one's the miraidon ex nice blue and gold very complimentary colors there what did it get yes okay the miraidon ex got the 10 next up all right we sent a few of our charizard exs i think i got six of them five or six maybe of these and i think i sent almost all of them because they all looked really clean charizard ex a 10 We've got another charizard ex a 10 we're gonna have quite a few of these charizard ex 10 charizard ex 10 another one charizard ex oh a nine what the heck oh maybe because of centering possibly it's a little thin on the left as opposed to the right, a little bit. You can see that cut on the top edge. Woof -da. Yeah, that cut on the top edge is rough. But yeah, those come out of packs that way nowadays in the Japanese. It just looks like some excess card on the top that is hanging on for dear life during the cutting process. Okay, we have one more. Charizard EX in a 10. All right, so we got a couple of these really cool reverse hollows that I decided to send. They have like this really digital, shiny reverse hollow pattern. We got a couple of Pikachus, I think a couple of Charmanders. I decided to send these off. Let's see what they got though. Yes, all right. We got one Pikachu in a 10. Hell yeah, really cool. I really like that reverse hollow pattern, very unique. All right, we've got another Pikachu. The Japanese reverse hollows are always doing something unique, always doing something interesting, where the English ones are pretty consistent all the way through like the era. I wish that they would swap up the English one every once in a while and do something interesting, but it is what it is. We've got another 10. Okay, so two reverse hollow 10s for the Pikachu reverses. Now, are the Charmander... Oh, okay, nope, we got the Ditto. So we have a Ditto, uh, regular baby shiny. Baby shiny ditto in a 10, hell yeah. I did send some baby shinies. I didn't really pull any incredible baby shinies. I think Charmander was probably the coolest one we pulled. We did have the Scizor though as well. This one's really cool. Love Scizor, he's so badass in a 10. We may have got Scyther too. I'm not 100% sure. Let's check. Oh, Lucario. Very nice looking Lucario artwork. Love how action-oriented he is such a badass pokemon 
We got another 10. Okay, a lot of these baby shinies doing very well for me. That's good. Raichu. We sent off a Raichu. Oh. All right, we've got a 10 on that. Charmander, here's my boy. All right, we did pull a Mimikyu, but it was so off-center that I didn't send it for grading. We did send the Charmander, so hopefully... Another 10. Okay, all the baby shinies doing very well. Ooh, Full Art Nemona. So I did apparently send some Full Art Trainer cards. This one looks really good. Centering's a little off left to right, but not crazy. So as long as the rest of it is clean, hopefully it pulls the 10. It did. Hell yeah, I don't know if Nomona is sought after. It seems so weird nowadays. It's like some trainers like Iono are like super expensive, but then some waifu trainers like Nomona are like not expensive at all. I don't know. Okay, we've got another full art. Looks like these are out of order per uh, normal PSA fashion. So we've got an Alakazam EX. We've got the full art again in a 10. Oh, okay, we've got another Charizard EX in a 10. Okay, here it is. So we've got the Wo Tien. That's the one that we got. Probably my least favorite of the like mythical whatever they are. I have no clue what style. Are they just legendaries? I have no I have no clue. Let's see what the Wo Tien got. A 9. Oh, that is in my opinion pretty brutal, but I do really like these uh etch foils. Very cool. This one will probably go up to the comic book shop. I like to put my 9s up at the comic book shop. I get a little bit better of a percentage uh, rate up there, and they tend to sell pretty well. Oh, okay. So this is the card that has the chipped corner, and it just happens to be a Charizard EX. <sighs> okay, Charizard EX full art chipped PSA slab. Not going to be able to sell this. As you can see, it is just super chipped all the way through the slab. I'm not going to be able to sell this like this, so I'll probably have to crack it out and sell it raw which really sucks because that's a waste of 15 bucks and I'm not going to wait six months for them to fix this. But let's see what it actually got. Of course, it got a 10. So it got a 10. Would have been nice to sell this, actually graded, but um, I'm not going to wait, you know, six months. I don't know how much this card is at this point, maybe like a $10 card or something. So it's probably not incredibly crazy in a 10, but I probably will just crack it and have to sell it raw. All right, next up, we've got this one. Now, I was a little worried that this one was gonna have some issues as well, and you can see it kind of does. I might still sell this one, even though it has some issues on the slab. I'll just take some pictures of it and just show like it's got minor damage on the slab, but nothing, nothing crazy, especially for a card of this value. If it was a higher value card, obviously I would take the time to send it back in, but we've got Charizard EX again, full art. This one got the 10. Okay, so we got one 10 that we can sell and I'll just designate that it has some minor chippage on the back of the slab. But overall, I think we got like two nines and the rest were 10. So I would say that's pretty solid. Again, I wish I had created a bunch of cool SARs to show you guys in this submission, but unfortunately we didn't pull any. 20 boxes, not a single SAR pull. You guys wanna check out a video where I opened a $260 booster pack from 1996? You can watch that video right here.